part, dude. You well, did phenomenal, phenomenal. Well, thank you, Shelly. I'm still, I'm still buzzing from that. The energy was great in the room, and it, uh, of course, all the uh, the staff being there just made it so much more fun. So yeah, thank you. Yeah, and that says a little bit about our <laughs> culture, right? It says a lot about the culture. Yeah. We lot. have, we do have an amazing culture here at the Solace Team. Do you agree? You know what? I more than agree, Shelly. That was one of the things that actually brought me to uh, the Solace Team. Um, I'd looked around in various other places and um, several interviews, eight, nine, ten different interviews with some of our competitors and uh, the, no no one checked all the boxes you know no one checked all the boxes that the solace team does and that culture um, I remember when I first interviewed um, uh, Missy mm -hmm. talked to me about the culture and uh, told me how important it was and how you and your husband put this together some 16 17 years ago and uh, even when it was a small group mm -hmm. five six seven or eight people you were still conscious of the culture, of the yes. culture, of the culture. And now that you've grown to where you are now, that culture is so important. And again, it's that thing that drew me to your company. Absolutely. And it's great to hear that from you, Brick, because uh, I agree. Uh, I'm, I'm glad that that's being uh, shared with everyone. And as you get to know the Solace team more and more, the culture does gravitate you yeah. here uh, because it is one like no other. It, it is the number one thing that, that I find so valuable within our team mm -hmm. to make sure that we don't lose what, what started the foundation, which was the culture that we built within. Yeah. We are truly, truly a team that cares about each other's success. We're not after each other's clients. Mm -hmm. We're not here to backstab one another. If anything, we're here to push and motivate you yeah. to become the, the greatest version of yourself. That's, That's right. what we're all about. So great start. Yeah, so Brick, yeah. let's let's tell everyone <laughs> okay. who is watching a little bit about who you are. Tell us a little bit about your background, Brick. Okay. All right. So uh, again, my name is Brick Wallace, and uh, my background um, it's 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 like a coloring book. It's got a lot of beautiful <laughs> pages to it. Um, I uh, I spent a lot of time um, in the ser service industry, um, bartending. That led me to personal training, and then I found an incredible career working on cruise ships. Mm. Um, I was with the uh, Carnival Princess, uh, Royal Caribbean, and um, in those line in that, in that line of work, I was what we called your um, your professional shopping consultant. Okay. And I got people excited about the ports we were going to and about the experience of shopping, and that's when I first learned to hold a person's hand as they're making big financial decisions absolutely and that's, uh, and that's what kind of led me here COVID said uh, brick you've had enough time at sea <laughs> we're gonna put you on land for a little while okay and um, I thought what could I do with my time that would still allow me to have an impact in other people's lives and still grow as an individual mm -hmm. and of course financially um, and real estate just kept they kept they kept yelling at me and I think a lot of people that are that are listening mm -hmm. and thinking about it if you're thinking about it now that seed has been in your head for That's a long right. time. That's right. It's been whispering at you over the years. It's been saying, hey, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Yeah. Uh, and I say to you, listen to the seed. You know, listen to it. I've done so, and here I am now, Shelly. Absolutely. And, you know, after watching you today, that is the result of the onboarding process that we have. You're new to real estate, mm -hmm. but now you are prepared. You're empowered with all the knowledge that you need to be able to guide that buyer mm -hmm. through the home buying process right, right? right. And, and like you mentioned earlier you already come with with knowing that everything is an experience mm -hmm. and you want everyone to walk away with the best experience possible and here at the solace team that's what we strive ourselves mm -hmm. on is making sure we deliver on that second mile service to all of the clients yeah. that walk in through our doors so let's talk about break the onboarding process okay. again you're new to real estate mm -hmm. so Share with us what it was like to go through our Solace Team University training. Mm -hmm. um, it was great. Mm -hmm. It was great. It was exciting. Um, it was a necessary challenge as well, mm -hmm. um, the studying and, and, uh, and the accomplishments. But the beginning was beautiful. The first set, uh, the first step into those doors was uh, one of our Wednesday uh, uh, mentor meetings. Yes. And I remember I was a little nervous coming in that first day and you open that door and the room is already full of people and you see all these experienced agents and yes. you're like, oh my gosh. Uh. Um, but the moment I actually walked in, all that anxiety disappeared because again that culture the team they all came up introduced themselves to me and um, I've mentioned this this saying before many times in life but people people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care absolutely and so when I walked in I knew they knew a lot mm -hmm. but did they care and right then from a handshake to hey sit here they showed me how much they cared and that was my very first step in the onboarding process 
And then Missy comes in and gives you the curriculum. Um, and you know, I, I was curious about it because the curriculum is amazing. Mm -hmm. and so I asked Missy, I was like, Where did you, who created this curriculum? And she said, it was me and it was Louis and it was Shelly and we put this together ourselves. And I've, I've worked for many different companies and I've seen various types of training curriculums, but uh, nothing as detailed for um, setting a person up for success than what I've seen here. Uh, we sat in, our, in your, your, uh, your lounge there, um, and we did six hours of studying a yes, day. Yes, um, And, uh, you know, some days you're, you're like, oh, my gosh. Uh, but at the end of each day, you know, we do a recount of what you've learned, and um, it's, it, was just, it was just amazing. Just Absolutely. Amazing. So it is intense, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. our goal is to make sure that you're well-versed in real estate, that you're well-prepared. Mm -hmm. We know that when that buyer is coming to sit in front of you, they're making one of the largest investments that they will ever make in a lifetime, right? And we want to make sure that they know that the person sitting across from them is mm -hmm. absolutely going to take care uh, mm -hmm. take take care of them and their mm -hmm. family 100 percent and if there's something that you don't know you have a whole whole arena of partners yeah. that are here to assist yeah true true that is and mm -hmm. you know that was uh, also something uh shelly that was super interesting um is the amount of people that are willing to help yes you know, right I, I was sitting in that meeting and i saw oh, I saw all those beautiful numbers on the board. Amazing <laughs> numbers. Amazing, Amazing numbers. numbers. Um, and on a tidbit, the numbers that, that you guys do here, that you had your agents prepared to do in a single year, um, uh, those numbers, double, quadruple numbers that I've, other places I interviewed with said, hey, we're going to get you 10, 12, Two. 20 deals a year. I'm just going to say, when I got here and I saw <laughs> those numbers on the board, I was like, wow. Um, yeah. And so that potential, but even better, the people that you have on that board with those big numbers, those are the people that were most eager to come help me. Absolutely. And I, that just blew me away because if you're the number one seller in a lot of companies, the last thing you want is competition. Mm -hmm. But all the top people on your board, Shelly, came to me and said, hey, what can I do? And they allowed me, they allowed me to shadow, yes. to follow, follow them and share their secrets. and. Uh, you know, a team is only as strong as the weakest link, and you guys Absolutely. make sure that, that weak link is strong. Absolutely, and we pride ourselves on that, Brooke. Uh, what we what we love here on the team is, again, we're not a shark on fish type of ocean, right? right. Where let's everybody guide together, swim together, and mm -hmm. let's just move the tide, right? Move yeah. those waves. Yeah. Uh, but uh, and you're correct. One of the things that I love about our amazing culture, our amazing team members, is that we're all wanting to learn from each other, help each other, and help each other succeed. Mm -hmm. Because ultimately, that is what a team is all about. Right. It's never about one person. It's never about what can the team do for me is what can I do for the team. And when you have that mentality, then this is the place for you because together mm -hmm. we will grow, together we will succeed, and, and together we will positively impact many, many families. So, break. One thing I want you to share with everyone over okay. there is if you're thinking about getting into real estate right now or you are in real estate and they're not having the success that you've seen now mm -hmm. on the board where mm -hmm. our agents, what mm -hmm. they produce, what they do on a daily basis, what um, what advice do you want to give that, that potential future real estate agent or that real estate agent that is struggling right now? Okay. Um, I'll say this. If you're in a situation, you're working for a real a broker and uh, you're not getting the results that you want, realize that uh, your success has been based upon what you've been taught. And if that broker hasn't opened, opened up the, the uh, teaching avenues to you, there's the challenge. So I encourage you, ask yourself that question. Am I getting the best teaching possible? Um, and if you can't say yes 100%, change locations. Now, when you come here, it's a whole different situation, you know. Um, you have all the support that you're going to need. Um, and if you're not reaching your financial goals right now, if you're not already closing 30, 40, 60 homes in a year, then maybe you're not at the right place that's going to maximize your potential. Absolutely. And that's what that leadership board showed me is the potential that's here. So I say again, if you're not reaching your financial goals, um, if you don't feel like you've got that solid education, and if you, if you feel that when you look back over your shoulder, and there's not a team behind you, then you're in the wrong place. 
Absolutely, I couldn't have said that better myself, Brick. Mm -hmm. So guys, if you're interested in having a confidential interview, just let me know. You can send me a Facebook message. You can reach me at the number that you see below or uh, you can go to joinshellysalas.today. That's joinshellysalas.today. I promise you this will be a confidential interview. I just want you to be the best version of yourself and be as successful as you want to be in real estate. Thank you so much, guys, for tuning in. I hope you have a phenomenal week. I'll see you next time. All right. Thank you.